I'm Alexandra and I am the Home Baked Vegan and today I'm going to be showing you how I fill and flood my sugar cookies with royal icing. So you can head over to homebakedvegan.com to get all of my recipes for the sugar cookies and the vegan royal icing, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to know is how to get the right consistency for your royal icing. And after a couple of years of playing with different consistencies, I found that the best consistency for my royal icing is like wet toothpaste. If you were to take toothpaste and put it on your toothbrush, run it under the sink, that wet toothpaste consistency is perfect for filling and flooding your sugar cookies. It also makes really um, nice smooth lines when you're decorating your cookies as well. The only thing that it wouldn't be good for is stiff decorations like rosettes, but I'll get that in, into that in a later video. Uh, so for today we're just going to talk about how I fill and flood my sugar cookies. And that's just um, how to make a smooth base for decorating your sugar cookies. So you're going to need a couple things. One, sugar cookies. Two, you're going to need your royal icing, and I put them in two different piping bags because you're going to need two different size tips. I'm using tipless piping bags, but if you are using uh, metal tips or plastic tips, then you'll want to have a very thin, um, one very thin tip and one wide tip. And then a scribe or a toothpick. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my very thin tip, and I've just cut the very top of this piping bag off. And I'm going to use that to make a thin outline right along the edge of my cookie. So I'm going to drape the icing. And I'm not going to hold it right close to the cookie because I have very shaky hands. And I don't want shaky lines. So I am holding it a little bit higher up and it drapes the icing down to make a nice smooth outline. And then I'll take my wider tip piping bag and start along the outside edge. You don't want to start on the middle of your cookie because then you might end up putting too much icing on your cookie and it'll pour right over the edge and we don't want that. We want a nice smooth line. So I'm going to start right along the edge and spiral my way in. And of course if you're not using a circle shape then you would just follow the outline and um, work your way in following the same shape. Then I'll use my scriber, my toothpick, and just work some of that icing right along to the edges if I missed any, just to make sure that there's no going to be no holes. And if you haven't let your icing sit for long enough before piping it, you might end up with some bubbles. So what you can do is tap the cookie a few times. And then if you see any bubbles rise to the top of your cookie, you can just pop them with your toothpick. And you want to do that before it starts to dry, otherwise you're going to end up with holes in your icing, and that's not going to give you the nice, smooth top. So that is how I fill and flood my sugar cookies. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, please hit the like button below. Be sure to subscribe. Um, comment below if you have any cookie questions. I'll do my best to answer them in my next videos. Um, so thanks again for watching and I will see you next time on how to decorate our beautiful sugar cookies.